Here we go, everybody, a new vlog, almost Christmas, it's so close. Thank you for joining in, we'll keep it short. It has been a crazy time for us, pretty much since last March when we closed down, we were super busy with bikes. Died off a little bit just because we ran out of everything to sell. And as winter came, we geared up. It's been busy, but we just want to thank everybody for their patience and getting in. Luckily, it's been a little bit warmer out, so don't mind waiting outside. But again, thank you very much for your patience. The mountains are open, the snow is fantastic. I was up with the kids on Wednesday. Avery was loving it. Jack was having so much fun and the snow is great. Hopefully there's more coming this week and it's gonna be an amazing holiday at Big White. That being said, this is probably gonna be a first. Johnny and I were talking about this the other day. I know this is the first in my history of working retail. Our Christmas hours are gonna be different this year. Um, so we're closing early Christmas Eve, uh, we're closed Christmas Day, and we're closed Boxing Day, just to get a little extra break for everybody. But our sales are all online. Everything is gonna be on there. So if you wanna shop ahead to beat the rush, go ahead, we'll package it up and get it ready to go for you on the 27th. But just be informed, our hours are a little bit different, but we're here on the 27th to get you ready for the rest of the season. You know, when COVID happened, you know, Amy and I just sit around, kids would be in bed and be like, man, we don't know what we're gonna do. Things are so different. And, and it's interesting because I can reflect back, you know, we're able to help out some kids this year on like the free ride team and some racing clubs. And I remember my first time getting sponsored. I've skied since I was three years old, switched to snowboarding super early. Actually wasn't even allowed on the hill when I started snowboarding. But anyhow, I was approached by this dude, you know, gave me a business card, says, come out, see my boss. We're looking to get a team together. We just opened a shop. So I was pretty excited. You know, a couple of my other buddies are sponsored. So it was a pretty big deal. You know, a couple days later, hop in the car, I drive in to see Michigan, check out this shop. And it's the funniest thing, everybody talks about first impressions. So I got pulled over for speeding. I'm in the parking lot and I don't really want to say how old I am, but I was actually two police officers with guns pointing in the car with the store owner, the manager looking at me, you know, I was speeding as America, you know, 35 miles an hour versus 50 kilometers. Like it's a little wishy-washy. Anyhow, it turned out to be a really great story. Got hooked up right away. And that was kind of my start into, you know, sponsorship and competitive snowboarding. Now it's different, you know, Instagram followers, likes, but it's amazing to see everybody still getting out with the same passion. And it's just a little bit different. As we finish off the year, I got some homework to kind of tidy up on. We had a little sales contest, or we had a contest with our sales reps about their vlogs. So we had Ryan, Jason, Justin, a lot of texts going back and forth. Apparently Justin was disqualified because he's not the rep, he's a sub rep, but his numbers were climbing up high. Ryan and Pete were close. Ryan, I think spends too much time in the States, but he wanted a recount. So we had to do a recount to see who actually won the popcorn. And after retabulating things a few times, Pete won. Ryan's not happy. Ryan's a little sad, but Pete did win. So congratulations, Pete. We got the popcorn kernels card for you. Ryan, there's always better luck next year. I am sad to say the bunk beds are still not done. You know, it got to Christmas time. We had a couple things going on. We did put an offer in on a new house, so I probably wasn't gonna finish that. We had flooring, we have drywall, and we had a whole bunch of stuff going on to list the house. Never had a chance to finish the bunk beds, but hey, that's what New Year's is for, New Year's resolution. Amy says, the year of completion, so bunk beds is on top of the list. But uh, you know, now it's just, snow's good, so family time, out skiing, and enjoying the great outdoors. I tried to keep it short. Thank you very much. Thank you, it's been a great year considering all the hard times and constant change going on. But from us, the staff at Fresh Air, the rest of the OLRs, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you in the new year. Like I said, keep an eye on our website. Our hours are changing over the holidays, but all the sales will be online on our website, freshair.ca. Get out and enjoy the fresh air.